Welcome back to Inflow Technologies Day in the Life PDM User Series. I'm Nick Sweeney, and today, let's talk about approvals in SOLIDWORKS PDM. Designing doesn't happen in a silo. We create models and someone checks them. Now, sometimes it's a manager, other times it's peer reviewed, but regardless of your process, PDM has a system in place with workflows to streamline that process. Let's take a look at my shelving design I've been working on. I'm happy with this design. All the hardware is in place, the material is strong enough for what I need, and it's not going to be an expensive build. So as a SOLIDWORKS designer, I'm done. What I have to do now is submit my model for approval. I have two ways to do this. The first is within SOLIDWORKS. If I have the model open, I go to the PDM add-in, click on the workflow icon, and select the transition to use. Alternatively, I can submit a file for approval through Windows Explorer, which we'll do here in a bit. A couple of things here. One, you have to have the model checked in to send it through a transition. If it's checked out, the workflow icon is grayed out. Two, notice that I have a few options for which transition to go with. Depending on who I am and the options granted to me by the administrator, I might have several options to select from, or I might only have one or two. So I'll select Submit for Approval. Now I select which documents to submit. In this case, I'll send all of the SOLIDWORKS components, but not the project brief because it's a Word document and it has a different workflow. I'll add a comment as well, but see that there are now two comments? When you send a file to a new state, there's the option to notify a user or a group of users. This notification lets them know that the transition happened and that maybe they have something to approve. So I'll leave a comment and dynamically select Nick for the notification. You might not have the option to select a user to notify, that just means your administrator has already done that for you. I'll click OK, and my work as a designer is done. Now let's pick this up with Nick. Remember, he should have just received a file for him to approve. The notification pops up in the lower right corner of the screen, but let me show you how we can check for all notifications, even the ones you might have missed. I'll go to the Tools and select Inbox. Here's the notification, so I'll click the link and browse to the file. I can open it, view it, anything I need to do. Once I've decided that I'm happy, I'll go to the workflow icon in Windows Explorer and approve the files. Again, I'll fill out the relevant information for the approval, and I'll click OK. Now I have an approved shelving design, and I can start building. 